do you like hanging out with your grandchildren? What do you do with them? Grandchildren are so much easier than children. There ought to be a way of skipping children, just having grandchildren. <laughs> Isn't that because it's somebody else's responsibility? My, my great grandchild uh, is uh, uh, they name him Leo, uh -huh. and that's perfect because he's he's like a lion. He's very strong. He's very large. He's very active. He's very happy. Yeah, I love my grandchildren. What do you do with them? Well, they're living in New York State, and uh, uh, he's only, I think, six months old, so I haven't actually touched him yet. Oh. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I, I carried him for a day when they visited, yes. Lovely. But you also have grandchildren. And, yes. And how old are they? Are they, um, are they still... Let's see. Oldest one... Or was no. the young because they're not young? I guess your grandchildren. They're not. No. Yeah, that, that's no. what I'm getting hung up on. When no, I think of grandchildren, all... I think of kids. But you're old enough that your grandchildren yeah, are having either... children. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But it's it, it's amazing that if one little thing had gone differently in my past, and I hadn't married or had married somebody else, all those children and all those grandchildren, yeah. and all that difference that they would make to the world. Would be subtracted. It's it would be, but maybe the kids you would have had from the other wife would have been better than your kids. Impossible. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Hmm. Was it difficult for you as your? I asked this. I, hmm. Was it difficult for you not to interfere with how your children raised your grandchildren? Did you see them doing things and think oh, they should? No, be. because they all lived fairly far away. Mm. So we would see them to visit, but we wouldn't be there day to day. So we weren't in a big extended family. And that's, that's a shame because you have more problems, but you also have more intimacy and, and, and love in a big extended family. Did you ever consider moving from Boston? Not seriously. Mm. No. When, uh, when we got married, uh, I was from New Jersey, and, and my wife's from New York, and we both had families in New Jersey and New York, and we said, uh, uh, we're gonna, where are we going to live? We drew two circles. One circle was about uh, 20, 25, 30 miles from those two cities, and inside that circle is too close because uh, mommy and daddy would want to be around all the time, and mm -hmm. that would be too well. And then we drew another circle, which was about... 200 miles away. And outside of that, that would be too difficult. You'd have to have an overnight to, to, to visit your parents. So there are only two cities with, between the two circles. And one was Boston, the other was Philadelphia. Mm. So the first job I took was in Philadelphia at Villanova. Mm. And the second job I took was in Boston at Boston College. So that's been, that's been good. Just, just close enough and just far away enough that you've yeah. got your privacy and your independence, but you can go there. Yeah. Yeah, I know it was very sad for my parents that we don't live in Australia. I miss them and um but I'm glad I'm glad we live here but it is sad. Your parents are still in Australia? Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully they'll come and visit one more time. Yeah. That's a long trip. I've it's been invited to Australia trip. a couple of times and uh it's too far. Yeah. What is it, a 13 hour plane trip? From LA it's about 13 yeah to Sydney but then if you got to go somewhere else. Yeah. And then from Boston what's like 5 hours to LA or so so I want to tell you about Hallow, which is the number one downloaded prayer app in the world. It's outstanding. Hallow.com slash Matt Frad. Sign up over there right now and you will get the first three months for free. That's like a lot of time. You can decide whether it's useful to you or not, whether it's helpful. If you don't like it, you can always quit. Hallow.com slash Matt Frad. I use it. My family uses it. It's fantastic. There are over 10,000 audio guided prayers, meditations, and music, including my lo-fi. Hallow has been downloaded over 15 million times in 150 different countries. It helps you pray, helps you meditate, helps you sleep better. It helps you build a daily routine and a habit of prayer. There's honestly so much excellent stuff on this app that it's difficult to get through it all just go check it out hello.com slash matt frad the link is in the description below it even has an entire section for kids so if you're a parent uh, you could play little bible stories for them at night it'll help them pray fantastic hello.com slash matt frad